We recently went to magical, mystical Sedona, Arizona to see how dog-friendly this beautiful yet quirky city is. Traveling with us was Ben and Benny, and of course, Margo and Myla, who love to hit the road. And Sedona is one of the most beautiful places on earth. It is surrounded by red rock mountains and canyons and green forests of juniper and pine. But is this amazing town dog friendly? My Sweetie Pies absolutely love traveling with us and exploring new places. They love the attention, the quality time, and the change of scenery. One of our first canine encounters was this St. Bernard. Margaret's like, no. Can a 200 pound dog be a sweetie pie? Of course he can. Look how beautiful he is. He was a 10 month old puppy and will grow to be 200 pounds as an adult. Look at those paws. They're bigger than Margot. We went out to explore the town, which has a variety of shops, restaurants, and public art displays. Marco and Mila were on leashes, and Ben and Benny were carried in my sling and in my arms. And after a long day driving, we decided to enjoy a little refreshment along with stunning scenery. Sedona is truly one of the most spectacular places on earth. There's a magical feel here, and Sedona is home to numerous spiritualists, psychics, and mediums, and is purported to have vortexes, which are centers of energy that are conductive to healing, meditation, and self-exploration. Marco and Myla are always treated like movie stars everywhere we go. Time to explore the town a little bit. Without a doubt, Sedona is a dog-friendly town. The shops, the restaurants, and the people all loved my Sweetie Pies. It was time to check into our cabin. We stayed at the Oak Creek Terrace Resort. These cute little cabins are definitely dog friendly. And my sweetie pies were right at home. Margo, Myla, Ben, and Benny were able to relax and enjoy the cabin after a long day on the road. So we decided to explore something called remote viewing. James went out for a few minutes to an undisclosed location to observe it, while I sat back in the cabin trying to see remotely what it was. And my sweetie pies enjoyed the warmth of the cabin fire. Well, when James came back, it was obvious I did not sketch out what he was looking at. But I did draw something. I'm not really sure what it was. Sitting 
in my foot. Are you cold? In the morning, the girls and I went out on a little walk. The cabin was down by a beautiful creek, and being out in nature brings me and my sweetie pie such peace and relaxation. breakfast for my sweetie pies. Myla loves her Starbucks puppuccino and always manages to get a little spot on her nose that she can't quite reach. We were encouraged to see so many other sweetie pies. Sedona is a wonderful place full of dog lovers. And again, Margo and Mila were the stars of the show. We also encountered this non-furry creature. I guess some people have snakes for their sweetie pies. So me and my sweetie pies decided to go to a local Sedona psychic for a reading. And we're just allowing your energy to connect to the space so the eyes are closed. But yeah, you're very practical, very science oriented. You're headstrong. Um, sometimes you so the life le your life, life lesson in this world is to make sure you don't knock people over with your personality. Yeah, you're you very uh, intellectually, yeah. you're very, very smart. She went on to say that I needed to visit one of the magical mystical sites in Sedona and plant my feet on the soil, along with Ben, and to meditate and ask Mother Earth for healing, for growth, and to focus on releasing something beautiful, she said. The girls so did so good. They sure did. Look, at she's she, even putting her palm is, up there. I'm oh, sorry, I want to make sure. Two girls. Two girls and Ben, yes. Ben. He's doing so well. He loves the energy in here. Yeah. Oh, ben, he's a good yeah. boy. Well, thank you so much. Would you like me to write it. down the... Um, she went on to tell me I needed to go to a specific location called Indian Gardens and tune myself with Mother Earth. So off we went to Indian Gardens to get in tune with the energy from the earth. It was just beautiful. I'm not sure what kind of energy was there, but I definitely felt the restorative power of nature, the trees, the water flowing, and my sweetie pies who love getting out of the house and traveling and enjoying the feel of nature in dog-friendly Sedona. Thanks so much for watching everyone and we will see you next time on Sweetie Pie Pets. Bye-bye.